Ladies and flippin' gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, oh boy, have I got a treat for you guys. I really, really do. Yes, from the title and yes, from the thumbnail, we are going to be testing out a prototype version from Gallon Mate of air to air lock on missiles. Now, they're not fire and forget, which is maybe in the future, but they do work pretty darn well. And the best part about today, other than the air to air missiles, is that we're going to be able to kill a heck ton of TU-4s. But there's two things that I want to do before we start today's video. One is to give a shout out to Gallonmate for completely owning the CDK. He started off with very little knowledge and now I was talking to him the other day and he's like, I can do anything. I can do absolutely anything. So uh, leave ideas in the comment section below. I mean anything, anything your imagination deems imaginating just going to go ahead and have another sip of this coffee. I think my brain needs it. Mm. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. But you guys know what I was saying. Anything. Comments below. A way that you can support Gallon in his efforts to make some ridiculous stuff for War Thunder is that he's made a website called WTMods.xyz. And this is a place... Hang on, the coffee's coming back up. <clears throat> yeah. This is a website that Gallon has made for you guys to support him and also try out his mods. You're able to buy the mod directly, or you're able to complete little online surveys uh, to gain access to the mod, because these mods take a lot of time to make. I mean, probably this this air-to-air -to -air mission today take probably took upwards of 10, 20, 30 hours to complete and get it right. And you got to understand that Gallon's going to have to go back every patch and change this mod up. So it will work with the game because he has to bend the rules of the game to get this stuff to work. So it'd be awesome if you guys would at least take a look at the website. And if you're feeling generous enough, uh, you're able to support him with the mods that he has available. And speaking of surveys and supporting oneself, I'm going to be doing something that I've never done on this channel's history with my voice. So I hope you guys are cool with it and you're supportive. But the YouTube adpocalypse is starting to affect me a little bit so i need to supplement some of my income for a sponsored portion of this video i've always been nervous about doing these things so again i, I hope you guys are really supportive uh the reason why i've chosen to do this sponsored uh company i guess is because it's not a game it won't affect the gameplay it's not me you know playing a game being like oh wow this is really cool they're paying me a billion dollars you know whatever i don't care it's great you know so this is just me advertising Cool. All right, so let's get started. So this is Opinion Outpost. The reason why I chose this is, well, because it's a way for you guys to acquire Steam money. And when you acquire Steam money, then you're able to turn it into War Thunder GE and uh, decrease your grind and increase your fun. So pretty much how Opinion Outpost works is that you go to their website. That link will be in the description below for you guys to click on. Make an account. You complete surveys and share your opinions. And as you share your opinions and complete surveys, you'll start to earn points that then you can start to redeem into Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, Steam gift cards. So yeah, it gives you a nice selection on what you want to redeem with your money. Um, so go check them out, description below. And I have to say this video is sponsored by Opinion Outpost. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And without further ado, Let's get into this awesome user-made mission. Uh, 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 fly missiles, yes, let's do it. So Gallon has uh, provided us with a list of what we're able to do in this mission. Here we go. I'll, hopefully it's not too loud. I think it's okay, let me turn down my headphones, there we go. So this is the Saber F2 armed with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, we could have counted those much easier, but just for, uh, dramatic effect. We went one, one by one by one. I don't know what kind of missile this is. Maybe the AIM-7? Let's look it up. So from my in-depth research, I found out that these are AIM-9 Sidewinders. I could be wrong, but for short, we'll call them Sidewinders, even though AIM-9 is much shorter than Sidewinders, but Sidewinders also sounds cooler. By the way, Gallant, I love the tail. Thank you for the custom paint scheme on this plane. Now we're able to do, or Gallant, this is probably one of the best user-made missions I've ever seen so far. We have triggers that we're able to do to set us in certain situations. So we're gonna press spacebar to get a nice little shot near the MiGs. 
Look at these mix. Look at that camo. How sick is that? But really impressive, man. Really darn impressive. Now, how do I go back to my uh, normal thing? Okay, we're back. So let's go ahead and take off. Full power, brakes. Let the jet engine spool and the RPMs develop here. Ooh, look at that flame. That's looking cool, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Is that like a... Hang on a second. Oh, shit. Gallon. It looks like the flame increases and decreases as, you know, more engine power is put in. Check it out. Full power here. That's not bad. Off the brakes. Here we go. Now, don't mind the elevator at all. It's, uh, it's... <laughs> It's just having one of its days. I'm gonna see if I can put it in neutral. That will help. Oh, nope, that will not help. Maybe it's, oh, it's probably the runway that's making it do it. Okay, let's just go full back pressure here. Flaps deployed. Get a little more pitch. Let's not break the tail. Wow, she's a heavy girl. Gear up. Come on, there we go. Beautiful. Now, I don't know if this was an historical or a historical load for the F2 Sabre. And I don't even know if the Sabre F2 had air-to-air -air missiles on it at all. But maybe for prototype stages, but I'm sure someone knows in the comments below and is already typing. Now, Gallen, of the amazing CDK and mission artist that he is, he's, he has set triggers for us. So all we gotta do to engage is press 3, and welcome to 8,400 meters! So these are lock-on missiles, right? Well, yeah, that's kind of the whole point of this, but just check it out. We'll go into the gun cam view. Okay, dude, this is just like the History Channel right here. We're gonna lock up, get him into our uh, red marker. Tone. <laughs> Fire! There goes one. Tango down, just like that. That was kind of a bad demonstration because he got a little far away from us. But, I mean, I think the sound effects were there. Hang on. <laughs> I'll stop that shit right now. Okay, on the way. One. No, I'm gonna get one a little bit closer. Oh, this guy. What the fuck? I shot down somebody else? Don't shoot me down. Don't shoot me down. Oh, yeah. Hang on. We got one behind us. Whoa. One right behind us again. Oh, those AIs are not bad. Locking. Fire one. Oh, it's got a sound effect, too. Woo! -hoo -hoo! So, uh, this is going to bring us to a discussion here. Um, do you guys think... Look at it, track, boys. How beautiful is that? Yeah, what are you firing at? Oh! I, I think the MiG-15 was trying to... The AIs have no idea what this is because Gallon pretty much broke the game with this. But this is going to bring us to that conversation of, do you guys think that air-to-air -air missiles in War Thunder would ever work? Now, I'll say right now, if air-to-air -air missiles are put into the game and face planes that don't have air-to-air -air missiles, it will never work. And the cool part about the early generation air-to-air -air missiles is that you could break lock pretty easy, I think, with a 5G or 6G pull, which in real life was a pretty big pull. But in War Thunder, I mean, we pull 9, 10 Gs all day long in these jets, so I think it could work with Vietnam air, air aircraft, such as the F-2. Now, sure, the F-2 didn't have uh, <laughs> gun pods or uh, 20 mils. They relied everything on these um, air-to-air -air missiles, but later variants, they did have a 20 millimeter, or I think one person at least strapped on a uh, 20 millimeter um, gun pod. And then later versions, they had a built-in 20. Where do these guys go? Oh, they are... Oh, yeah. One cool thing about these missiles here is that um, we don't have to look at them to fire. <laughs> yes! Beautiful. So I think that a tier such as, I don't know, 12.0, or just have a separate kind of branch for the top extreme tiers in the game, it could work. I really think so. And there, and there wouldn't be bombers or anything like that in there. But the next question is, do we need it right now? I don't think so. I think with War Thunder, we've got to fix a lot of things currently for them to even be worrying about air-to-air -air missiles. But for a custom or for a user-made mission like this and to actually, for Gallon actually to get it to work like this, oh, that was beautiful. There we go. Great. Great shot. Took a lot of skill. I think it's amazing. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I want to reiterate that I don't think that this should be added to the game anytime soon. This is just up for discussion. And again, I also want to reiterate that this is to be had in its own BR spread. So these air-to-air -air missile planes won't face any 163s or things that it should never face. So we keep that meta the same, but we also 
add a new meta in a new part of the game, and yes, that could separate the player base, etc., but this is a whole point of this video, up for discussion. But think about it. In early game matches, you'll be so quick that using the aim missiles, or the sidewinders, whatever you want to call them, players will be able to break, but as you start to duke it out, dogfight, lose energy, the aim missiles will start to become more apparent. And you still will have guns, so it won't just be, you know, click here to win. It's I think it would be pretty darn cool. So again, comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And now on to the best thing that Gallon could have ever done for us in a therapeutic way. Let's reload the missiles here. Press four. Oh, never mind. Hang on, sorry. Sorry. Hang on, we gotta fire all these real quick. Oh shit, we got two tangos over here. Ooh, make 17 bad, yeah. Yeah. But can we get a head on with this guy? Oh my god, it's still tracking, guys. It's still tracking. It's still tracking. Oh, my Atlanta? What are these fucking things? Wow, OP. Now let's reload the missile again. Press 2. And lo and behold, fuck you, TU4s! One down! Dude, oh shit, what the, what the hell is this? Oh shit! <laughs> Air brakes deployed! Flaps deploy. Get away from me. Okay, we're gonna deal with these guys first. On the way. On the way. I never know what I'm shooting at anymore. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. <laughs> Reload the missiles. Okay, here we go. Full batch. We still have some more stragglers. And where are those TU4s? They're still in sight. This is like that one movie. Uh, the final countdown or something But an F-14 is like versing a zero or something. I actually really love that movie by the way. Okay back to the original task at hand Oh, I would love to do this in the real game But that's why we have these things so we can take out our frustration without ruining the game. We all out of missiles already? Ooh, was that like a double kill right there? And unfortunately you can't launch um, More than one at a time because it has to track Oh, yeah, bro? <laughs> See you, dude. What? Oh, oh, yeah, bro? Oh, shit. Yes. Okay, we got about a lot more to take out here. There goes that 17. Tango down. I wonder when they're going to start engaging me at. We're almost done here, boys. Do you have enough missiles to take out the rest of them? Oh, jeez, Louise. There we go. TU4 formation dead. Look at the carnage. Best day ever in War Thunder. Fuck you, TU4s. Oh, we got a straggler over here. Only six kilometers out. Zero in, in. computer. And goodbye. God, that's a fucking strong ass missile. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, earlier in the video, I appreciate you guys listening to me. Really do. Thank you for the support, or hopefully the support. Get brainstorming in the comments below. Not anytime soon, but just in the uh, soon future. Well, soon TM future, comrade. Guys, again, hope you have enjoyed. Until next time, peace out.